right, let's see if my voice is still functioning. Uh, does look like it is. All my stuff is working. That's great. Welcome, everyone, to Operation Warrior's Passage. I'll be your streamer tonight and or cameraman. No, there's no or in that. I'm definitely the cameraman. Uh, well, I'm going to stop rambling. We're just going to go straight into it because it's I've missed a couple days of this. So we're going to go over the commands for round one. Of course, our opposing sides is going to be the British versus the ME, or, well, not MEA, uh, Militia Forces. Uh, our command for the British side is going to be Alpha Guido, with his two ICs being Boogies, two, bleh, bleh. two other SLs being Utopia and Zaki. Uh, and for the Malicious Forces, is going to be commanded by Com Captain Morgan, his two ICs being Frost, and his two other SLs being Bow and Barry. With those out of the way, let's go over the team loadouts. For the British side, we have infantry squad level, uh, it's going to be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one ammo bear, and one medic. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and platoon armory is going to be two ammo bearers and one medic. No vehicles and no fob logistics. They do have two 155mm smoke barrages, and that is it for the British. Over to the militia side. Uh, the militia uh, I have equally less. Uh, let's see here. Infantry squad level is one SL, two FTLs, one medic. Platoon armory is none. Yeah, none. Uh, vehicles, two logistical techies with 500 ammo, 900 build each. Fob and logistics. Uh, let's see here. They have the rebel camps, which is one fob, one ammo crate, and various defensive structures. Uh, support, none at start. See rules below. Of course, if you wish to, uh, look at those. Sorry, I'm listening to, uh, comms in game. I thought I heard someone say my name. Um, all right, back to this. So if you wish to know what those support options are, type in exclamation mark op doc all together in chat and uh you'll get a link to the operations doc that'll give you the full rundown but i'm not going to cover all the weird intricacies of the happenings unless asked at which then i will float around because people could be lazy anyways uh with that out of the way let's bring up the op map and we can take a look at that Ooh, something's going on with my obs Okay, so as the op map shows, the British forces will be starting on the western side of the map at the top of the valley there, and will be making their way down. They have to get past the militia forces, noted by, I'm not sure why that flag is that way on the map, but it is. Um, have to make it past them to any of the three flags at the base in the harbor. That is the very, very simple gist of it. Um, I'm sure there's probably something in the middle that they have to go over, but I'm a lazy streamer. With that out of the way, I'll bring you all in. You can listen to uh, the British command go haywire over people not doing what they need to do. Our objective is to, uh, to sweep de uh, north, down the mountains, through this valley. Uh, find We're supposed to find two... Uh, what's it called? Militia encampments. They could be anywhere in the valley, basically between here and the coastline. Once we find them, we need to basically surround and destroy them. Then after that, we'll be moving to the coastline, to the warehouse in November 13-1, and be uh, setting up to defend that point for extract. How we're going to do this is pretty simple. We're going to have Zaki's squad going up the gut, kind of following the river a bit. We're going to have Utopian squad on the left and Boogie squad on the right. We're pretty much going to form a nice little uh, lot platoon line, more or less. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be contiguous, but just some semblance of a wide front. And we'll use that to sweep north through the valley. When we do hit contact, what's going to be happening is we will then, depending on how we hit contact, if we hit it on the left side of the, uh, of the river, what will happen is Utopian Squad will then shift to the right side of the river and along with Boogie Squad go around it. And then basically from there we will... Uh, Utopian Squad would then wrap around the north side of it, and then we attack it from multiple sides. And it's vice versa if it's on the east. If it's on the east side of the river, let's say, just for shits and gigs, FOB is right there. 
boogie squad will cross the river to the west, cut north, cut behind it, and attack it. Basically, in any in any event that we find a militia fob, the side of the river that it's on, that squad will go to the other side and work to go around it. The idea is we want to try to be as disruptive as possible for the militia and kind of uh, undermine any attempt for them to be able to get any kind of defensive line going to stop us. We want to kind of cause havoc and kind of keep them guessing as to where exactly we are. Any questions? All right. So again, just a reminder, we have to find and destroy two of these Russian uh, fobs as we see north. Upon completion of that, our objective is to slip through any remaining militia forces and get to the warehouse at November 13. F uh, SLs, break them out, get ready for life. And we're live right, let's go for let's go Operation let's go Warriors see. Passage, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. round one. Oh, see how this turns out. I don't really... I think it was round two last time that... Uh, the British forces actually made it down to the warehouse. There was barely anyone left. Uh, and round one just got picked apart coming down the hill. So again, let's try to be a bit quick here, guys. Let's double time it down the hill till we get to roughly that uh, the bridge in Mike 18. Then we'll slow it up from there. Because it's nothing but open terrain from here till roughly that bridge. So we want to get past that as quickly as possible. So just have you guys double time it. Hey, let's let's get in the vertical call. It's out. We'll just keep our spacing. <laughs> well, I don't know how two weeks can speak on that, but I'm sure we're a friendly community to begin with. Uh, as for only being around two weeks, eh, don't care. As for getting your sod basic, fantastic. We need more bodies to uh, throw at the meat grinder that is operations. And for those that, uh, may or may not have taken their basic yet. We do have, like, what, three basics coming up in the next five days, which is very odd, uh, but, yep, that's, that's what we got. Actually, it might be two basics. I think one of those was a SOT CQC, which is not able to be used as a basic. That is our close quarters combat training. Float around, see what's going on. Actually, you know who we haven't done yet? You guys double timing it down the hill. Get to the road. You should be sprinting. <laughs> well, we try to be friendly. We try. All right, let's check out what the militia forces are doing. Right, I've been focusing right way too much on the British column, here. I should, you should be at least a tactical blob. I want a wider formation, not a narrow column. Tactical blob. Interesting. All right, Better so it looks like, let's see if I'm correct on this. Two, since you're out ahead, uh, we're probably going to keep you just as you are. I'm actually kind of fine with having a slightly off-kilter line. Mm, so I don't remember why I don't like this map. I keep, keep lag pace, on but, it. Uh, don't worry about stopping uh, to wait for three and one to catch up. All right, so we've got a couple of militia forces on the ridge lines. And down lower. I'm wondering, is that really all the militia forces? Oh yeah, we didn't have a full op. Okay, that's right. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Round first 
this first test. You, you had, we've had this. Yeah. Okay. Now he's like, he's like slurring all of his sentences. Yeah. No, and who? There's a community manager, Nordic, yeah. Also, all, all cells, uh, I know I said to stay off the fucking mountains, but make sure you're still scanning the mountains or the ridges. They may be up there. So let's make sure we're paying attention to that. Copy that. Saki, I like how you deployed fire team on either side of the river. That's good. If you can, try to move your eastern or your western group that you're with a bit more east because you're kind of running into one a bit. Do you remember when your like magazine counter was in a circle around the icon when there was no icon? Yeah, I remember that. Each map also, I don't want to see any of my fucking FTLs yeah. leading from the front. <laughs> and you yeah. have to uh, remember crouch jump to vault? Oh, yeah. Remember there were lines, dude? Just Wait, a lines. Second, yeah. Wait a second. Did Alpha colors? Guido just say... He doesn't want any of his FTLs leading from the front. I have seen this man, as an FTL, literally run face first into the, the enemy going, without his entire team. Negative. That's I'm hilarious. To move day ass. Copy. Let's just keep it all walking pace from here on out as we sweep north. I like to keep this for the close encounters. Looks like the Western group has finally passed the militia uh, forces on top of the ridge line. I don't know how they have not been called out yet, but it may be due to the fog. Actually, I probably could just go down and figure that one out myself. Uh, if someone's really paying attention, they could probably see those silhouettes. Let's keep moving. Fucking blueberries want to get up on our shit. Well, you guys are fucking. Look at where your line is and look at where our line is. Tell me if that's right. right. Why are you even with us? 
<laughs> because you guys are supposed off, to be more easy. Two, I'm looking at oh possible boy. implications. One could possibly be an Oscar 16, so I'm going to need you to break your line a bit more to the east and go sweep through there as well, just to make sure we don't miss that. Copy, I'm moving. That's exactly Tiger Cam. That is exactly. Spread your line out as thin as you can. That's why I just call you Tiger Cam. We'll as Tiger exactly Crane. We'll shift the whole line east. So, one, you're going to shift your guys from that hill, your leftmost sky right now, all the way down to the river. Three, have all your guys cross the river to the east, and you're going to spread out as well. Copy. Point copy. So, basically, the way it should look like is one and three, your guys should be meeting up somewhere around the middle the, in the mic grids. Three, you should be stretching all the way east to the November, towards the November grid. Two, you should be more or less in your grid. Yeah, so I'm we'll going to tell... Bit, get that reorganized so we can spread out a bit more. Sooner or later, they're going to get contact, and they're not going to uh, like where it's going to come from. three squads are set, we'll keep moving. So three, let's cross the river now with your guys. Give room for one. Yeah, that works. Follow me. We're going to go straight up and then we'll work our way down. Contact spot not October 17 moving south, you said? That's two in October 17th. Uh, Zachy, relate in all, all comms. That should be all comms. And McMuffin, like, if he's looking in the right direction, should <laughs> have seen check, Nightmare sure and Dashby come up the hill places. here. These guys are in Oscar 17 right now. Let's see if there's any enemy movement to possibly intercept. No, it looks like uh, Morgan and his guys are going uphill, and it looks like Phoenix may have come up to Muffin, so might have called Is that confirmed, fire. Or, or are we speculating here? No, that's confirmed. All right. Two, watch your well, south. Don't pursue contact. If we manage to slip Pi a full fucking squad up on that ridge line, I say we leave him be, and we... uh. We deal with them later. So it looks like they did call out for the militia forces or against the militia forces for the British. Uh, have spotted the lemon sledge crew over here. And it has been confirmed, at least for me, that these guys have been called out, Phoenix and Joe Gamer are definitely moving into position to screen more. Nightmare and this crew coming up. I don't think you can get on, up on that top, top part, can you? Yes, you can. Oh, you can. Yeah, boss, I got nothing up here. All right, we're not, we're so not going to worry about it for now. Two, just watch your ass as you move. Dedicate at least a guy watching your six at all times. We're going to keep moving north. True. Yeah, I'm not sure about Grade, but it's okay. This one's usually got only two ways it can possibly go. Uh, first way is the British forces come down the hill and get shredded trying to get past the militia forces. Or way two is get yeah, past three, the militia moving. forces but them. get uh, attacked from the rear. They were further to about 100, two, 300 meters to your south. We're going to ignore them. We're going to slip right by them. Hopefully they didn't see the rest of our platoon. We're going to keep moving north. So three, start getting to formation and just keep moving north as you do. Everyone keeps uh, sweeping. If we do hit contact, though, I will Honestly probably surprised. From whatever, either three or two. No contact has been made yet. Element. Until then, we're not going to worry about it. Oh, this is not a good position. Up here. Stand by. Words. Copy that. Oscar 16, right now. 3 1. Oscar 16, 3 1. Copy that, Boogie. And here we see militia forces in their natural habitat. Building defenses. And. Not sure what the British forces plan on doing. Entirely spread out across the November grid. I want you still moving north. One, you should also be continuing north as well. Copy that. Two, let me 
know if you found a camp up there or if it's just scattered contact on the ridge line. I I'm gathering that it's just scattered contact. Copy that. Oh, wait, stand by. Hang on. Yeah, it's not scattered contact. We have emplacements, emplacements. Oh no, I'm definitely. I have two reasons not to like urban combat. Ready. It's your go yeah. to push that thing. How One of them. Feel? Most likely the guys to the south are an element of that group. So we may only have a fire team up there that you're dealing with. And that Three, is go, go nearby Joe Gamer and Phoenix one, out of the game for round one. Taken out by Nightmare right, right, and Dashby. Right, right. Nice Enemy engagement there. To the north side of my Element. Nades out, Enemy just bouncing off trees. 16, Mike sixteen four seven, copy that one. You're gonna sweep and go try to deal with that, all right? If you cannot push it, then hold back and keep Overwatch on it. And see what happens Roger, here. We're keeping their heads down here, uh, waiting for some backup. My brother team's moving in, so. They gotta watch out for is this crew on top of the ridge line is gonna start moving down on them and they are lower than them. They do have advantage. They are in the tree line. So that could work for them. Figure out what they're doing. Cyclone's moving along the uh, ridge line here. Taking out uh, Brandon Sixes. Uh, looks like McMuffin is taking pot shots at poor uh, Cyclone. If one, if radio is on bleed out, proceed, looks like McMuffin uh, was taking about a nick of time. Uh, moving towards uh, Oscar 15 2 to start. Oscar 15 2, copy. Check the corners. And it looks like Stretch was taken out by Nightmare. And nick of time taken out by McMuffin. Well, no, not McMuffin. Uh, R2. R2 R2 taken out mean? by Grunt. And that's a nade. It does not take anyone out on the British side. They're doing pretty good here. Okay. What is going on? Looks like we've got a small engagement down here on the bottom of the hill. The British forces have managed to take this little place. What do we have going on? Looks like a Duke and his crew are pushing uphill against uh, Zaki and his. Have your car Charlie team spread out to deal with that one. You're going to move straight yep. east. Most likely you're going to deal with like that Miles contact too soon. Uh, northwest of three. Copy that. It looks like a Duke and might be trying to pull off and head uh, westbound. Yeah, not sure why he's headed westbound though. Unless they're just going to pull downhill to get to uh, a different defensive position. I don't really see anything else there. Maybe they're just... I don't know. I'm not going to guess on that one. Man, we caught them completely by surprise here. Uh, we eliminated probably six to seven guys, took one casualty. Yeah, looks like Flicker's that. crew is coming up proceed straight north to the, uh, river. on these to guys the, uh, on the ridge line. Copy. We're, uh, we're just identifying it. Copy that. Just one. Copy one. We Even though they're on the uh, the, the high ground, we'll land they're the keeping themselves north, low in profile because, copy. You mean north as west. was mentioned Understood. earlier by Mr. Guido, uh, real quick, just to it's note, very three, easy to see the them, the not so easy to see their enemies. Additionally, I forgot to give out a uh, chain of command. It's going to be two one three, two one three in the event that I go down. Point. In case three of them have just been taken out from downhill. Raff and Fariody making some good push down. We have, uh, Chick is still up north, top. Uh, covering the radio, covering the radio. Uh, we also have contacts to our south. Uh, we're getting pinched in right now. Oh, Copy, nightmare. Caught off guard. Let me know if you need them. Three, I need you shifting Lawn Darts' fire team to his north-northeast. Contacts are Oh, that's two. not good. Oh, 
pull back. Oh, that's not good. Oh, dash B. Dash pull back. Dash pull back. Is he going to be able to bandage in time? That is really red. Oh, it looks like he did. Nice. This is two. I'm making a uh, pull back here. We're getting a uh, rush from our south. Uh, we're digging radio right now. Not going to lie. I have Three, completely I forgot. Oh. Okay. Setting that fire team. Launch fire team north. A known user has been taken out. North. Also, be advised, three of contacts in November 1789. Repeat, November 1789. Belchick is still here, along with Captain Morgan. I completely forgot he was on this ridge line. Lon, give me an update. What's going well, on? Well, it's harder in the forest, also, uh, especially with these low uh, canopy style trees uh, and shooting them uphill. Uh, Frick, you'll be taught in advanced if we ever hold advanced, I think. Um, Copy that. Two of you is dug that it down yet. grenades will bounce off the the uh, branch Three, start moving your mesh. Squad north, try to link up with two. Uh, so Project. don't ever try and throw a grenade through the just leaves of a going, tree. The There's a high yes. chance of it bouncing back. Did you dig down that second radio? Or just dropping. Confirmation on that. Yeah, sorry, yeah, we did dig down. Afirm, totally we, are, we are moving north. One, divert north, take the river, one. Copy, will do. Three, yeah, I want you to like back a bit, try to disengage and cap linger south, and off. then you're going to come up north after us. I expect us to take contact at the warehouse, so you're going to kind of linger as a flanking force. Try to pull I'm your guys out. Within, contact within 20 meters right now. Yeah, it looks Copy like that. Toaster Man taken, taken out of Dukin. Freighter taken out by e Fank. Command comms, they need to head north. Understood. Alright, so we've got the main group, well, half the group with Alpha Guido going downhill. Looks like whatever was on the ridge line to the west has come across to assault. Uh, well, was Boogie's group, so it looks like E Fank and poor uh, Mr. Toaster alongside right, Lawn and the Cheese Man. Are currently on their own, facing We're against whoever's left of the militia. At Mike 14 9 and November 14 7. Copy, copy. Copy. Actually, Bogey, I say, I say directly into the warehouse. I want you around the warehouse, not all in it. So, some guys on the coastline in November 13 2, some inside, some at Mike 13 3. You're going to spread it out. Go 4 3. Three, three. Copy. Uh, we're in contact with the squad here. We're going to uh, paint. Welcome the back, process. Fader. Also caught your death. <laughs> Again. Yeah, taken out by e Fank. Do your best to disengage from that and break contact. But ultimately stay alive. You have to okay. hold and defend. Do it. It's Here's your judgment. Squad. No, just keep going east. Estimated about eight enemy KIA at this point. Jesus, all right. Flicker taken out by Fireyote. Oh, zero minus. Not no, quite sure how he missed all those shots, but he did. Uh, Raft taken out by Mr. Toaster. Fire Yodi's still up. He needs to be careful, he's got an E-Fang staring at him. Toaster providing some cover fire. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna pull Tracking off. Command may go down, also getting flanked from my west, northwest. Unknown size force. Copy that, oh, just no, relay to e and Toaster that they cannot go east of Oscar Papa Gridline, which they're about to. They have to oh, lawn darts okay. taken oh. up by Moon Wolfie over here. Ah, uh, did him dirty. That's just not nice. Should give him a lat. All right. So now the majority of the British right, forces in the back lines are pretty much dead. E Fank and Toaster. Looks like a most of the Actually, you know what? Down there. We no, to we're going to stick there, on them. Because this is where all the so action is. Oh, Toaster uh, took a nade to the job. face. That sucks. Yep. So we're Alright, it's all up to you, Fank. Can he make it here? back to I the British forces? I I'll send uh, and shift around as needed. Oh, I'm fucking sick of this game. Nah, no you're not. You Fank I mean, loves this run, game too much. You know? That'd be sick.
Oop, that's a tree. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he sank taken out by Cap Morgan. How did you? Anyway, just for shit. Oh, you talking about in the field there? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's. Oh, uh, that's just not anyway. nice. All right. Well, poor you, Fang. Didn't make it down the hill. Got taken out by the command of the militia I forces. See, I see rallies spawn all around there, so I'm gonna assume yes, that's the initial spawn area. But we're gonna dig it down anyway, just to add insult to injury. So we can claim that we dug down three radius instead of two, because we're just that good. Man, if you're calling this nice camera work, I uh, am what two days out of two here? two weeks right out of practice at this point. Oh, okay. Plus, I'm suffering from uh, on, this is what, impossible corrid. You know the unmentionable name. Yeah, what's up? Um, we're set. How does Copy that. Yeah, get a wide spacing one at your fallback position. If you can't hold that, uh, the top of that warehouse or the top of those hills, is to kind of fall back however you can towards the coast or hold a reverse. I say something, but I've actually gotten over. I'm just okay. recovering at this point. They were both sitting still, and I could see their heads, and I was lined up on one. Oh, man. I dropped one instantly. It was like, it was like Band of Brothers, you know, where they take out the Germans on the dike? Like everyone's assigned to a man. Okay, we should have some dude watching this entrance, 100%. Okay, I need some right here. So now it goes from a uh, attack the fob locations to, uh, well, defense. They get to uh, survive while whatever's left of the militia forces comes down here to wipe them out. We'll see what happens. This could take a bit, though. Jackson? Yeah, yeah you may as well take it. Bro, I'm retarded. You on hey Boogie, spread some guys out into like the Mike 13 area. Just make sure we're covering down the uh, west side as well. You said it, Tiger. Somewhere Coastline to the west, wherever they find a good spot. You, I would send a buddy team as well to the coastline at like November 13 2. It's a pretty good dug down position. So yeah, basically two to the west, two to the east, whoever's left, keep them in or around the uh, the warehouse. Turtle, do we have too big a gap between us and Charlie and the river? No, that'll be fine. Copy. See, they were going to use that pop that we took down in the party pod. Now they can't. Uh, that, you could be uh, Hey, one, most likely you're probably going to hit contact from your south, southeast. That's most likely where they're going to come from. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Maybe they blow us up in time. Because they don't know yeah, where we're, we're so falling back to exactly, so they might be sweeping through the Oscar 14, yeah, uh, kind of the, the Oscar 14 spawn, the literally uh, boathouses and all that. So expect contact from there. So if you do take heavy contact, instead of falling back north, fall back uh, west. The road. Copy that. We do. That's the only issue I have right now. I think Squad Two has some guys on that. It looks like the militia forces have finally gathered up and are pushing back down the hill. Not sure what a Dukin's doing all the way up. Oh, wait. He died. Never mind. <laughs> I know why he's up there. Not a lot of them left. Let's see here. We've got a count here. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
11 militia forces versus, uh, start at the bottom here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 yes. Britishmen. This is going to be interesting. As for the uh, note for later, for those possibly watching this on YouTube once it's been edited and to a VOD, I apologize if I have not gotten the best close-up shots. It's uh, not the best on this map, especially with the way the trees are. Stand by, I've got contacts, rough grid to follow. It looks like they spotted Frost. November 1437, very rough, very rough. November 1437, copy. One copy. that's to your southeast. They're sprinting straight fucking down the hill. Also, additional contacts spotted coming in from the southeast. October 1469, five times infantry I coming in from like the due a, east. Building, you see that? Yeah, yeah, we do it. I can hit him. Squad one, one is going to get the contact first here. One, swing. I want your, uh, your western fire team swinging them uh, on the east side to assist. Looks like they're all Priority coming taken out. I'm not sure if that Copy was Yeats a lot or if that was Hash Thing Slasher. I think that was Yeats a lot. Hash Thing Slasher is just providing some cover fire. They're moving on the other side of the building. Copy. Joe Violence coming across the road here. Hopefully someone will be watching when they do it. Yeah, there he nice is. There and Bound Chick has run up the hillside. Tagged once, tagged twice. Bleeding possibly. Joe Violence. From our east now. I'd fall back. Providing some cover fire. Yeah, Barry Boops taken out. Like Lemon Sledge is also forward. staring at him. So that is not the best position to be shooting at now. I can already suggest they're probably going to pull back from that position. Uh, looks like British line is holding pretty good. Coops is taking a couple hits. Liberals digging in here. Two, you can shift your guys that are on the western defense. Shoot them east. Looks like uh, Liberal got basket of puppies. So that's going on over here. Coops might want to keep his head down. He's got Morgan staring right at him. Eyes on contact. November 1468. Due east of you one. They're starting to get into the buildings to your east northeast behind you. Copy that. Lots of smoke due east of you. I'd get get your uh, western fire team. Get them to sweep east. Shift your line. You should be looking Copy that. Uh, east. And now. looks like uh, command for the militia forces has gone down. Captain Morgan taken out by possibly turtles. Copy. Looks like Hashling Slasher and Dr. Yeats Lot are moving back to the boathouses. Or garages, whatever you want to call those. British forces doing a fantastic defensive line here. Might be up to Dr. Yeats Lot and Hashling Slash to stop this crew coming down. Looks like a four man group for the militias coming along the coastline. Or the inner gully. And this is definitely not a gully, but I can English good, I swear. Mmm, those are some dirty corners. I'm not gonna lie. Well, 
one, give me an update on the contact. Is it anything to no your contact. south? No contact. We'll have pause 30 seconds. Copy. Redeploy your line. You should be going uh, north to south, line facing east, starting from you, working your way south. Copy. So. Shallow, do it. Yeah, if you have no contact, feel free to push out a little bit. Just hey, wet tootsies are pretty good. Line, Keeps you alert. Right now. At least until it gets cold and dark. Then it kind of, uh... Not so much alert as you are just cold. Uh, looks like he might have a bead on Bouchica. Bouchica dipped a bit. No, no, he didn't. He's still in that bush. Oh, Joe Valen's taken out, though. All elements be advised, I still have smoke already, so if you need to get you or your guys out of a tight right situation, let me know and we'll call smoke already on your position. Yeah, he sees Balchica, Balchica taken out. Nice eyes on Dr. Yeats a lot. Yeah, he leaves Lemon Sludge. Arguably a more dangerous adversary on his own, but uh, we'll see what he does. Uh, looks like we've got Flame Mage, Unlisted, Sorry, and Wolfie. The last, no, nope. yeah, last three militiamen on the hill. Alright, one, you're in a bit of a bad spot. Your eastern guys, we're going to change it up a bit. Pull back west across the river. So I want you setting up your Bravo team looking east, north of your Charlie team. So, Mike, four, Copy. you and your Bravo team, Mike 1496, watch east. So start pulling back now. Copy. If you want, I, we can pull you out with smoke. Now we'll have a big L-shaped ambush going on uh, with two's guys, my buddy team. And your squad. Two, be advised, contacts on the boathouses. Unknown numbers. Solid. Or Lemon Sledge lost all of his men. He'll be fine. Maybe. One, let me know when you're in position. Copy. Bogey, did we ever dig down that third radio? Yes, sir, Bob. All right, so even better. Sorry. Okay, that's what I thought. The uh, oh, squad two is taking up the uh, Bravo position right now. Holy shit, this is sketchy though. Well, Alright, move. Set. I do. Go, go, go uh, to the uh, force. Alright, let's go. Come in, this is squad one. We're in position. Copy that one. Just careful they don't reach around your southern flank, but you should be good there. Copy that. That would be interesting, Waka Waka, but <laughs> doesn't look like it. Not today. Yeah, Where at? Directly south of my guys. Ooh, Flame Mage taken out by A. Jackson, 32, and Unlist taken out by uh, Bus Driver Man. But good job. Yeah, probably. 
Actually, yeah, I think I that, down next to that red house, uh, yeah, that leaves uh, Moon Wolfie and one. Lemon Sledge. Oh, Hashling and Slasher taken out by Lemon Sledge. Told you, he's dangerous on his died. own. They're still at the red houses or the uh, boat houses. Contact zone, boat Moon house. Wolfie. On boat house. Copy. Damn, I know where they are, but I can't see them. Remember ammo. How many days got one? Go. I only got about 100 to 150 meters uh, efficient to my east side. Got. Oh no. Oh, lemon sledge, not dangerous enough apparently. Taken out by Dr. Yeats a lot. Coming around the back side, waterlogged. And that's going to leave us with the Moon Wolfie coming up and around the rocks on the hillside. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good plan or not. Well, so far he's still alive. Hope one holds themselves. See what he's trying to beat out up here. Ah, uh, okay, I see what he's doing. God, who the hell would ever want to defend the boathouses? That's like a terrible fucking extract point. I like this cool ass warehouse. <laughs> yeah, being traced. Yeah, that is, uh... Any update on contact? Always tell us you who the last person is alive is, uh, when there's just a swarm of spectator cams around them. November 14-1 to go to the southwest of their position. Uh, I'm gonna do something different. I want your full squad sweeping east. Sweep east? Yep. Oh, he's getting tagged, tagged. Fucking root these guys out. He's probably bleeding, and he is taken out by... Unless you have contact close to your Utopian. East, you or liberal. Gate, GG. And that is GG for round one. We'll Good be job, back guys. shortly for round two. Uh -huh. All right, we are back for Operation... Pa uh, wow, Warrior's Passage uh, for round two, and I am flying in the wrong direction. Uh, let's go over commands for round two real quick, and then we'll go over the loadouts once more. So, for round two, it's a uh, team swap. It's going to be commanded by, for the British side, it's going to be Captain Morgan, with his two IC being Frost, two, two other cells being Bow and Barry. Uh, for the militia side, it'll be commanded by Alpha Guido, with his two eyes being Boogie, and his two other cells being Utopian and Zaki. Uh, with that out of the way, let's go over the loadouts once more real quick. So, for the British side, we have infantry squad levels, one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one ammo bearer, one medic. Platoon armory consists of two ammo bearers and one medic. Vehicles, none. Fob and logistics, none. Support consists of two 155mm smoke barrages. For the militia side, give me a second, I gotta scroll down to my op doc. For the uh, militia side, we have... Did I say malicious? Militia. Uh, we have infantry squad levels, one SL, two FTLs, one medic. Platoon armory is none. Vehicles consist of two logistical techies with 500 ammo, 900 build each. Five logistics for the rebel camps is one fob, 100... Nope, not 100. Uh, one ammo crate and various defensive structures. Support is none at start. 
but they do have some rules for later on into the round. Uh, we will not go over those. If you wish to know what those are, you can type exclamation mark op doc in the uh, chat, and it'll give you a link to the operations doc. With that out of the way, I'll bring us in and fly to the... doesn't look like the British forces have quite reached their staging place yet, but that's fine. We'll just follow it. All right, last round did not go as planned, obviously. We uh, we were basically flanked and infiltrated through some gaps in the line that, that weren't filled quickly enough. Um, so expect that not to occur this round. They're going to be watching every one of those entrances and exits. This is going to be a reactive contact mission. We are trying to find two enemy radios that will be in different locations than the ones that we had them in, more, more than likely. And um, our goal here is to remove either the radios or all all um, militia personnel within the valley marked between the Kilo and Lima lines and the October and Papa lines. So do not leave these regions here. I will put them little red marks down for you guys, but you can't cross past that border. Um, we're going to do this by going into the Lima and Mike grid square areas. Uh, squad two is going to be our uh, westernmost element. Squad one is going to be our easternmost element. Squad three is going to be in the middle on point. Um, I'd like a no more than you know a couple hundred meter spread, but the goal here is to, to search these grid squares, find the enemy, engage the enemy as one unit, hopefully take li as few casualties as possible. If we are allowed to exfil, exfil would be in the field October 1435, October 1435. See that on the map? It is marked with the uh, little uh, 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 arrow lines. If for some reason all uh, squad leaders and myself are dead. You have no communication. Head to that location where the uh, heli will potentially be picking us up. Do I have any questions so far? Perfect. Squad leaders, break them out. Oh, all right, wait, I have one more question. Sorry. Um, is that even if we haven't taken out the radios? Go to that expo. We have, have to, no squad leaders. We will. Left, we, will or we will. We will. We will determine that as it comes. But. Your mission right. at this point is to remove two radios or all militia personnel in the valley. If you have no communications left, your objective is to go to that heli or at least meet up with other friendlies on the map. Got it? Cover that. Copy. Cover that. All right. Squad leaders, break them out. Prep for life. Oh, we're also and it is oh, live for round two as right, we so make crayon done. jokes about the Marines the and... Uh, Oregon's yeah, yeah actually, it's gonna be fun. Don't get too That's why I joined the army. All right, Bravo, you're uh, behind squad. You will take up the roof. Speaking of Morgan, where is he? Oh, never mind. Found him. No, Charlie, we're gonna be My behind bench. Bravo. My bad. Bad. All right, so I can already see a massive difference in comparison to the way Alpha Guido sent his crew down and the way Morgan's sending him down. Alpha spread his out in a line, and they kind of did a thorough sweep down the valley. Um, I can't call this thorough. There is a massive nade-inducing death pull of bodies in the middle. A string to the west and a single celled organism to the east. Oh, oh, nope, still single. Why I described him that way, I have no idea. Are you going to follow us? All the way up the river. Squad one should be separating and pushing west on their markers. Mark, got it. Now I do blame. Well, no, I did blame poor Morgan, but it is really whatever his FTLs decide to follow along with doing. I am no B car. Read the name and weep, Viper. Also, I have seen you play games. Make sure you guys get your spread out on the line. We're 
we're so searching here as well. So lines east to west, not north to south. Am I really that nasally right now? Alright, let's figure out where the militia forces are, because it's going to take the British forces a bit to come downhill. Well, I do see one main conglomerate headed westward. It looks like they've already got one group here. Ah. Okay. Oh, finally they spread out. Well, okay, a bit. I still see a nade inducing death pool right here. Yeah, there's a band called the Mountain Goats. <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm just gonna pause on this open area, get some glass up before we cross into it. Sounds good. Three, if you could dress your lines, same with two. You guys are pretty clumped up. I'm trying to search these grids a little bit, so if you need to spread your guys out a little wider, since three is wide as well, that would be fine. I can drag my guys in a little tighter too if I need to. I think we're okay. To our west side. There's no cover, so we're a little punched up. Copy. If you want to spread slightly further east as well, that's fine. I'm not judging, I'm commentating. There's a difference. Yes, stand by you, the mic 17 point. Um, no context, visible. I'm nothing but words. Copy. Move up and secure. One and three, two, continue pushing. With a biting edge. Copy. Well. Maybe teething. Not really biting. Two, if you don't take contact, you don't see sandbags until you get to the Lima 16 grid square. Hold that area and rotate to assist three and one with whatever they're facing. Copy. Eyes on and placements built. Copy, you have eyes on enemies as well. About 100 meters. No eyes on entry contacts yet. <laughs> Charlie T. Yes, in contact. Radio. It's in the bush with barbed wire around it's in the it. northwest. Copy, Frost. Can you move the deal with both uh, the radio as well as assist three with contact two? Looks like contact is north of you. If you can move to engage that and assist, let's mow this contact down to King Bush. We have contacts, Lima 17.55. Copy. One, I need you collapsing towards three to support them. It looks like they've lost the majority of their three, one of their elements. 
The goal here is to provide overwhelming fire superiority. I got enemy on top of me right now. Copy. North of you, south of you, directly on top. We have contacts, Lima 1746, Lima 1746. Copy, engage. Engaging. Three is going to be pushing west, sweeping through that area. Little battle drill one alpha on you. Perfect. I'm hit, I got a bandage. Oh shit, he's uh... taking out uh berry boops the first call out name i've got i was trying to stay quiet because they were having some fantastic uh command comms going on command those two rocks just north of me there's about a fire team i oh okay i see what he's done here oh that's dirty that Okay. Okay. Uh, right here, I'm, right I'm here. Put some yeah. yeah, go for it. Ah, shit, I'm, I'm dry. Load up, I got you. Okay. Spot one, land, good cover down for you here. If you want to push up and take those rocks. Copy, doing it. like the British forces have uh, been kind of drawn away on this side by a decoy crew. There is no fob over there. There's a radio here and a radio there. And those are the two ones that they got to get. Squad two, looks like squad three is down to one man. Yeah, we really would like to pull east if that's okay. Uh, we're surrounded from the west and the north. Pull east. Shift into one. You guys are going to continue moving around that location. One, did you find the uh, radio? You see that smoke? Squad one, have you found the radio? Negative, we're looking. I thought you said you'd seen it covered in barbed wire. Oh, that was the one, that was on Mike 16. Okay, go ahead and push up and capture that radio. Two fallen behind them, provide rear security for one. No, I got you, I see it, I see it. Maybe. Give me a grid. I'm sorry. Squat two, Mike seventeen four one is a radio. Squad two, did you copy last? Say again. Mike seventeen four one, like a hundred meters northwest of your pause, you guys walk past the radio. Uh, all right, say, all right, understood. Northeast. Is, you say we walked past it, or we're about to walk north, past it? northwest. Past it. Mike seventeen four one, northwest has, of you. It has barbed wire around it in a bush. Copy. Uh, we 
we didn't see it, or at least I can ask my guys if they saw it. Okay, what Frost is telling you, he has visual on it. It's in Mike 1741. We've got to take that radio out. Gotcha, okay. Do you do you want me to double back and go to Mike 1741? Your, your closest element, start pushing that way. Frost, move to assist. We're going to come in behind you. Time now, Frost. Copy. Copy. Yeah, it looks like the militia forces just gave up on that fob right there. That that uh, radio, my bad. Frost, what is Adikin doing again? He's there's there's infantry between you and him. He's trying to eliminate that. Copy. All right, we got eyes on uh, emplacements. Uh, looks like sandbags to our northwest. We're about to cross the river. Copy. I see one. I saw that one. Five. Mike 1741. Hey, that is your region you're going for, squad two. There's Copy. at least four. Plus the squad leader. They're east northeast. Throw frags if you can they're in Brandon Grange. Sandbox north of me, one. Copy. Question is, how far are they going to chase this militia crew? I commands down. Uh, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Um, squad two and myself. Oh uh, no, pushing. did we lose um, cap? Let's see if, um, oh shit, yeah. Did turtles get cap? No. Uh, pop around me that you called out earlier. No, possibly liberal? Just took out Apex. Did you, uh, where'd you see the radio specifically for us so I can take it down? Some, somewhere right here. Everything looks different now. It's somewhere right around here. Seven zero. Okay. Mm. 
This is just the cat and mouse game at this point. I'm gonna pull back. Liberal might end up taking out Sven though, so I'm gonna stick around. No, there's uh, quite a bit of uh, British forces. It looks like Sven got liberal. Uh, I got a, quite a bit of uh, British forces over here on the first radio, but it is taking okay, them two, I got stretch on the radio. a hot minute south, south, south of me. to take out that first radio. There is some uh, massive miscom miscommunication going on. Contact west up on the hill. 200 meters. Copy. Let's let's put back to just throw some moves. Ooh, stretch. Take it out. Grenades on me. Recovering west. Six to no, eleven on the British and sixteen for the militia. Give or take a couple deaths. Uh, no, wait, yeah, that's right. Ready or you want TV up at it? I'm trying to get to it. Um, it's out in the open, and they're looking at it. All right, let me let me send TV. Um, he yeah, can he can cover. Okay, if you got some smokes um, north of me, please. And Valchicka just got knocked out. Uh, looks like it was Hashling Slasher got him. I don't think that was a mass DC. He takes out uh, Alkaline. Brandon Sixes. Possibly the next victim of Dashby. Chuck Frags. Uh, fuck. Why'd I put a ladder right here? To hide in the trees. Ooh. Oh, Cyclone takes out Frost. TB one six six got Grunt in the back line. Maybe it was Grunt that got Frost. Like TB one six six taken out by a nade. Okay, what do we got left? We've got a bad situation for the British here. Godfather and unknown have no. Nope. Unknown's dead. Never mind. Scarecrow and uh, Godfather have a couple militia forces behind them. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. Four of those. Lawn darts on the rear line. That's not good. Uh, Brandon Six is just surrounded at this point. Uh, uh, any assaults here? This is not going to be good. What else do we have? We got uh, Macho Man Randy, uh, Fader, McMuffin Spin, and and that is it for the British forces. It did not turn out too, too superb for round two for the British forces. Oh, it does look like Macho Man Randy did take out Cyclone. So that's a plus. And it looks like we just lost uh, the Godfather to possibly Zacky90 over there. Benjamin, I don't think you ever want to hear that there's no command. <laughs> I 
But yeah, if there's no SLs, yeah, that's the problem. That means you are either A, the last person alive, or there's no command structure left. And that is pretty much what's happening right now. He's probably got one of the uh, event admins doing a direct command com to him. We do provide a helpful hand here and there. Uh, especially when you're down to this point in the game. Anything that uh, will keep them on their task, which is trying to dig down this radio, which sadly is not the only one they gotta dig down. They got another one over the hill over there. I wouldn't be calling GG's yet, but this is definitely gonna be a schlog for the British forces. As you should know, Fader. We're pulling out to the direct east once I dig this down. I don't think there's anyone... Uh, yeah, there's no one within earshot. Polish herb may have heard him. Those smokes out. Those smokes out. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Keep him ready. Keep him ready. And Polish herb is dead. Oh, smokes out. Baron and six is just like a uh, a wave of death, bringing all the bullets with him. Macho Man Randy didn't survive either. Mac Muffin running downhill, trying to stay ahead of Brandon. Fuck, let's go. No, Yo, fuck, our operations smoke, are hard sights only, no optics. We try to keep it as a fair as possible. Okay. Of course, sometimes the uh, one of the opposing teams uh, camo works better. Brandon taken out by turtles. And now it's up to McMuffins. I really need food now after saying his name too many times. I can guarantee you, he is being stared at, but at this point, he's taking that shot, and... Oh, does he not have a band-aid? He's getting... Oh, oh, oh... oh. Poor McMuffin. My bad. Alright, well, that's GG for round two, and that's gonna be the end of the op.